Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below about today's video. Today is just a Sephora uh, mini haul slash uh, Walmart haul that I'm going to be showing you guys. Just some products that I was like interested in, like, you know, trying out. Some of these products I've tried before. Uh, some of them are new to me, but let's just, let's get started. We'll start with Walmart first. Uh, this is for my uh, my son. It's a Cantu avocado. I don't think it's focusing. I don't. I think it's too. Okay, here we go. Cantu avocado activator. I try to use things to moisturize his hair. This is something I've never tried uh, before, you guys. If you've tried this before in your children's hair or even your own hair, uh, please uh, leave a comment down below on how it works or, you know, if it's good or not. Uh, it still has, like, the tab on it, so I haven't used it yet. Uh, I know it's saying, like, it defines uh, and soften curls, so I try to uh, use things that hydrate his curls, you guys. Uh, this is something I love, the coconut uh, shea. Let me see into it, like, focuses. Let's see. Give it a second. Yeah, this is really, really good. It's pretty, I mean, I won't say pricey. I'm a little frugal. I think it's about eight bucks, but I like that it's a edge control and it's a glaze. Um, I usually use jam on my uh, son's hair, but this, when I'm doing like a ponytail, I like to use. So this is something I really, really like. Um, also, this is something I've never used, which is a Nair hair removal for the bikini area you guys let me wait until it focuses let's see here we go it's focused okay tell me what you think um you guys and my hands kind of look crummy i just got done working out so that's why i'm looking all kind of very relaxed uh they say you glide it on the bikini area and leave for a few minutes three minutes and then you wipe off um you know just something to kind of you know uh expedite the shaving process uh you know, us ladies, you know, we like to take care of that. So, you guys, if you've used this, uh, please feel free to leave in the comments down below how it works. Because this is something that's very, very new to me. And I also got uh, the Pro Style, the Ampro, actually, uh, Curl Enhancer. I'm going to wait until it focuses. Pretty sure you guys have heard of this. This is like a brand that's been around for a long time. Ampro, like, makes the regular... Uh, brown styling gel i like to use this i got two on his hair it really does like hydrate his uh natural curls so i really really like it um now let's move on to sephora you guys i got my little bag i had ordered some stuff online and then i went into the store and uh got some stuff just a few things because i'm trying to try the first thing we'll start with is the like original beauty blender it was pretty pricey. I think it was about 20 bucks. I'm trying to let it focus. Let me see. It's a glare. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys can see. I mean, but it just says Beauty Blender on there. Um, I've used uh, several Beauty Blenders. They're not uh, on the pricey end, so I decided to go with something a little bit more expensive just to see, like, does it, uh, you know, hold well with the foundation? Does it apply well? You know, like, the hype that everybody says. You guys, like I said, like, I know everybody's on this Beauty Blender, like, um, trend. I'm just get. I've tried beauty blenders, but like I said, I have a two-year-old, so I'm now trying to go back into like, you know, doing my makeup a lot more. Uh, so this is new to me, like a expensive uh, beauty blender. This is the Fenty, what is this? Setting powder. Let's open this one up, you guys. Um, the guy at Sephora, he was super nice. He recommended this because I told him I have the the Anastasia um, setting powder, but this is in the color Honey. Let's see if it focuses. And it does. Yeah, so I think that this is good, you know, because I don't want a lot of flashback when I, uh, if I take pictures and stuff. I have the translucent with the uh, Anastasia. And I have, like, the banana powder with another brand. I can't think of who it is. But uh, I haven't tried those things yet. I'm not uh, into the baking yet, but I want to start doing that. 
So that's something that I'm very, very happy and excited about doing. I also have the Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil. I have uh, the Tat Brow Pencil. I know that's a new uh, trend now. I like it, but I ended up getting it in ash black. And I wish I would have got it like in the medium brown because when I used to draw my eyebrows in, I never used black. But I was trying to see if I would, you know, if it was okay because it was ash black. But I had to go back to what I know. I've never tried the Anastasia uh, brow pencil, but this one I think is in medium brown. And that's what I'm comfortable with. I'm not uh, knocking girls who tried to... Uh, draw in or they they try i'm not only try ugh, i'm getting my words confused they draw in their eyebrows black i just don't think that i am that um like good with my makeup to like use a dark color like that i'm so scared that it's going to make my brows look harsh so i like to stick to like a more like you know skin tone or you know whatever to kind of blend in i know a lot of people you know, may have something to say about that, but that works for me. Use what works for you. This works for me. Um, I also got a Fenty uh, lip stain. It's a matte finish and it's in the color thick. I like the color, so we'll do that. I like it. And I'll try to swatch it. I don't know if it's focusing. Let me see. It's not focusing really good, so let me open it up. These were regularly like 18 bucks, but they were on sale for like $12.50. And let me tell you something. Your girl loves a good sale. Um, I don't just buy things because they're on sale, but if I've always wanted to try a product, I'll, uh, and I'm scared to because I don't know if I'm going to use it a lot or whatever, I'll wait until it goes on sale. I love the case that it comes in. This is super, super cute, and it has like a sleek look, so it's super cute. Okay, let's get this thing open. Is it opening? Okay. Let's see. Oh, a swatch is really good, you guys. And don't mind the burn on my wrist. I'm a cook, so I'm always probably burning some part of my arm. So that's all it is. It's just a cooking burn. Uh, those of you who cook, you know that, you know, picking up hot stuff, you burn your hands, your fingers, your wrist, etc. And... Last but not least, I love the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I have used this one before, you guys. So this one is like, um, yeah, this is something I have in my staple. I usually get the full size, but they were sold out. So I got the mini in the store. So I just got the mini. I usually get full, but I mean, I don't draw in my eyebrows every single day. So uh, as I'm getting back into my makeup, this should like hold me. You know, for a while, because like I said, I mean, I don't draw them in every day. But uh, you guys, don't forget to leave your comments down below about what you thought about today's video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up on today's video. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.